Hey YouTubers, um, I'd like to show you guys how I installed my Dyna S on my 78 shovel head custom chopper that I've been working on for ages. I'm way behind on update, uploading videos, but I was able to figure something out and how and why I wiped out my other Dyna S, which is right here. I know that, I, well actually I believe that I put that blue wire. Uh, I did put that on the uh, bottom post of my 5 ohm coil. Okay, so here you have the coil. I'll just show it to you on the bike. So, here's the 5 ohm coil here. And so I had the blue wire down here and whenever I took this bike apart I, I really didn't think about marking the wires which you should always do and then the white wire is also the power wire so there's a, a power wire which is the white wire from the uh, from the module from the electronic module and then there's a blue wire on the bottom and that's your signal wire well I believe what I ended up doing was putting my uh, power wire from my start switch uh, and I believe that I may have hooked it up to the blue wire the signal wire and that will back feed and wipe out your module so do not do that that was pretty stupid but anyway so now I actually have so I purchased another uh, module Dynas on eBay 83 bucks cheapest I could find and so now I have uh, the top post as the instructions as the instructions will tell you on this bottom right image right here okay since it's just a single I'm not hooking up a dual it is dual fire but it's just it's just one one coil um, so there you have it so you've got to take your 12 volts power to the white and as you can see if I turn it this way it matches my it matches my coil so you know that's on top blue on bottom so the two whites on top blue on bottom don't get them mixed up and then once you run those then you can you can actually test the timing you can actually test the timing on here very very simply is once you get everything put together which isn't much so you have the fly weights behind your points plate or on a distributor like a vacuum plate but anyway so your points plate here you stand off or your pillar bolts here uh, this does not come with a light and that's fine because what I decided to do was just use the spark plugs as my as my test light so um, I installed the spark plugs with the wires from the primary of the coil and just grounded out both spark plugs and although you may not may or may not be able to see all oh, this you know the end of the plug down there yeah you can see it I guess if I can see it you can see it anyway these both fire off at the same time so I have the front uh, cylinder at top dead center if I did if I was timing to the rear cylinder what that what that did was it put this plate all the way down to this slot all the way down against that pillar bolt before it started to spark and if I retarded it all the way back I believe this is retard advance I don't remember now but anyway to here uh, if I if I rotated the plate uh, all the way down to here then it would also spark at the end so it would spark here and it would spark there so I thought, no, this is not right. It should be sparking somewhere in an adjustable range. And my other one was set just about an eighth of an inch higher than this, which I had marked that plate. And so I knew something was not correct. So I went ahead and went to the uh, front cylinder on the compression stroke um, coming up and then um, put my little finger in the uh, view hole the timing hole 
of the above the primary of the case and felt the felt that line coming up and then I just tapped a, just tapped a little screwdriver uh, up on top of the cylinder and, and sure enough it was top dead center and what it did what this has done is it put me right where I needed to be on my spark now both of these plugs are going to spark at the same time which is actually the design I guess so what I did was I had loosened these I turned the key on okay so key on came back over here and I rotated this plate back and forth back and forth using you can use this little uh, little push thumb push device here it's just a little post that you can use or you can use the corners of these I, I couldn't do it holding the camera so this is all after the fact so I got it in the correct position while I was turning this all the way to the left because what that does is it opens up your flywheels, your flyweights, actually your flyweights, and makes contact um, with, I guess, with the magnet pieces in, in the back. So now, when I turn this to the left, I get a spark, and I don't know if you can you can hear them, but they're they're sparking away. I think I, I think I took one of them off of yeah it's not sitting perfectly on the ground so um, so when you turn this to the left and it's sparking right now so that's actually a good sign so I've got it set just perfectly so anyway that's how I set this thing up and it should work just fine I'll give you some more details on the bike and everything I've done with the bike over the last year and a half um, been turning out pretty nice so i'll be cranking it up here pretty soon all right thanks for watching hope that helps somebody bye